Good morning, everybody. Today is at the start of day 63. Uh, it's the 4th of May. I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different. Um, I'm down here by Wat Watuga Lake in Hampton, and I'm going to be hiking backwards. Do a little slack packing. The caretaker at the hostel got his niece's backpack on, some food, a rain jacket, and uh, some water and a filter. And I'm going to be hiking southbound on the AT over Pond Mountain. Um, as you know from yesterday, I decided to. At the end of the day, I just I was I was pretty pretty tired and sore and diverted into the the hostel in there. Ran into some day uh, day packers and as I was doing my planning last night and my meal prep. I realized because of the, the, the Watuga Lake shelter closure because of aggressive bear activity, I was in a situation where tomorrow with a full pack, I'd have to climb this mountain uh, up 1,800 feet, down 1,800 feet, and then, and then try and get through the area to the next shelter. And I was just like, you know what? It just can't be done. So... Um, I was looking at a short day, just basically coming over the mountain and, and camping uh, here at the base of the mountain. And also, by there at the lake, it says camping prohibited. So, I'm not sure where this campsite is. Maybe I'll come by it on the way up here. But uh, I started looking at that and I went, well, why don't I just, instead of camping, just come back to the hostel? Why don't I do this the easy way? And... Uh, not do it with such a heavy pack and um, so I'm slack packing I thought I'd never do it I was thinking that that was some way maybe cheating or not being authentic but hey if I'm looking at having to flip-flop in the end anyway because I'm going so slow if I've got to do that um, it's hiking the trail may not be the way I'd wanted to do it but it's the way it's gonna work for me. So, hey, it's my hike, right? So, at least I'm covering and I'm not skipping it. I have a feeling there's a lot of people that go into Hampton and come down here to the lake and they, they skip the mountain. But, hey, I'm not accusing anybody. Just a, just a gut feeling I have. Anyway, uh, it is threatening rain, especially after two o'clock. I've already seen some rain showers up in the mountains. Tomorrow, we've got hazardous weather coming in. 90% uh, chance of rain for sure overnight and maybe tomorrow morning with 70 but then there's chance of snow in the higher elevations and hail tomorrow so uh, wintry conditions are back spring is going to take a break and uh, it's gonna be fun hey that's what I can the mountains is about right having fun and getting wet and hey maybe even a little snow why not so anyway uh, we'll see you in a little bit uh, as I uh, hike up this mountain. See you later. Bye. All right, there's Watauga Lake, and you can see the dam on the far side that I get across tomorrow. Uh, it's a growing mountain out there in the distance. Got a little fog on top of it. It's going to get some snow tonight or tomorrow night. Uh, it took me about an hour and 40 minutes or so to climb up from the recreation area down there a lot of winding a lot of winding back and forth a good good uh good gentle um switchbacks coming up this side this is uh this is this is not a a bad climb up on this side ran into uh smiling don coming down so i called him i think smiling dan on the video yesterday or the day before, but it's actually Smiling Don. He's gonna go, he's gonna keep going. He uh, he camped down pretty close to the recreation area, so he's gonna go across the dam today. And, and uh, matter of fact, he's probably, he may have already crossed the dam. It's about that amount of time. He's gonna get up to Vanda Vetter shelter today. And that's where I'm gonna try and get to tomorrow. So he'll be a day ahead of me now that I'm taking a Nero today and uh, doing the slack packing. Uh, it's a, 
Obviously, it's been a lot easier on my knees. So if I can get uh, 6.8 miles, plus another mile and a half back today, and uh, and uh, not beat them up, then that'll make it better for for uh, tomorrow. So sorry, I talked about my knees again. Didn't mean to do that, but it slipped out by accident. <laughs> but I can't wait to get to to uh, Damascus and get my Cho Pat knee bands that my wife was finally able to order for me. So I'm looking looking forward to trying those. I think a couple of viewers on YouTube mentioned those as a as a good option. So anyway, trail's not been bad. Both directions here. It's been a relatively uh, easy climb on this side, but the steeper side will be on the down. So we'll see how it goes, but it's starting to starting to get dark overhead. So I better get to it or I'm going to get wet. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Well, I'm on the top of Pond Mountain, and there was a little tiny pond. I mean, tiny. We're talking like a, a backyard, little swimming pool type size pond, but it's up on the top of the mountain, kind of neat. If that was a water source for the campsite, I'm glad I didn't try and come up here last night because I was already dehydrated. I would have relied upon that as a water source, and I would have been hurting. So, uh, anyway, so... Um, a viewer has asked that I do a review for a section hike that he wants to do with his son, I think, um, from Hampton, Tennessee to Marion, Virginia. Well, I'm in Hampton now, so good timing. But that brought up a, a thought that I was just, I had as I was hiking up that, you know, if, uh, if a person was interested in doing a warm-up hike of the AT, three days, two nights, maybe three and a half days, three nights, if you want to stretch it out a little bit. Um, the height that I just did would be perfect. You can park your car down at the, uh, down at uh, Rowan Mountain, Tennessee, at the, at the uh, Mountain Harbor Hostel. It's a secure parking lot there, because there's actually signs up at the trailhead saying, don't park here, there's been vandalism. So park there, you walk point two up the, up the road, jump on the trail. That's where the sign that said uh, Bigfoot Sanctuary. That was a beautiful hike that Sunday. Um, and all the way to Mountaineer Shelter. It wasn't that far. It was like a, maybe a, like an 8-8. Eight, eight. And then that next day was a 9, or maybe it was a 9-8. And then that next hike past the shelter to that pipe spring where I, where I camped, where the, where the storms were. But that was a beautiful meadow. Uh, for a second night and then and then hike down and then you can either do what I did last night just divert into Hampton on the Blue Blaze Trail or take and hike up this uh, Pond Mountain down to the Watauga Recreation Area. Um, you know that's probably a I'd have to look at the numbers but I mean as far as the hike goes I mean that'd be that'd be a perfect perfect hike to take scouts on for example, uh, uh, maybe a, a wife that doesn't want to doesn't want to hike a lot, but you want to you want to share this with her. Um, it's not super demanding, but yet it's beautiful. There's what Jones Waterfalls, Mountaineer Waterfalls. You got Laurel Falls, uh, the water um, that hike along the the Elk Elk River. There, it's just beautiful. I mean, um, that's a that's a hike I may want to come back and do. At some point in time, even with my wife or some other family members, I think that would be a, I think that would be a, a great little little section to do, either as a little pre warm up for something harder, maybe the the first hike out in in a, in a while if somebody hasn't hiked, or or just to, just to get out with a, even some you know younger kids could probably do that you know the first time hike with a twelve to fourteen year old, um, you know son daughter why not. Uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, um, a very nice, it was very, very nice hike. Anyway, sure, sure, thought I'd share those thoughts with you. Now I need to go find out where Marion, Virginia is. So I can, I can plan that out. So anyway, I uh, thought I'd share that with you and, uh, time for me to grab some lunch and then we'll head down toward the falls again. Okay. I found the water source for the camping up here on the top of Pond Mountain. 
obviously it's uh, a lot better than a pond. Uh, good running, good running source. This is uh, notated on AWOL's guide as a as a seasonal. Um, obviously, with all the rain we've been getting, uh, it's a good source right now. But uh, middle of summertime, if it's been not raining for a while, it might be uh, a little more challenging to, to get water up here. Okay, everybody. I just came down the trail intersection and I just met the same three guys yesterday that I uh, that was slack packing and now I'm slack packing and they're real packing. Is that real packing? Is that a word? Real, real packing. Yeah. Real packing. Why don't you guys give me a trail? Packing. How about trail name for everybody? Fireball. Fireball. Tortuga. Tortuga. I'm coming. All right. <laughs> and Constantine. Constantine. Yep. Well, there's a there's a royal well, name for you. Well, All right. Anyway. Yeah, well, so these guys are the guys that taught me or, or convinced me, not really convinced me, suggested that I hostel into a slack pack and I love them for it. Thank yeah. you guys. You had fun today. All so right, have a good hike tomorrow. Oh, I'm Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird, okay. so anyway, thanks guys. You're welcome. Okay, I'm coming into Hampton. Straight ahead, past the cars, a couple of those roofs, you see the the stone building there with the green roof, that's uh, that's where I'm staying, that's the hostel. And uh, just up here a little ways is the hardware store with the grocery store is owned by the same man. Sometimes they want you to go there and check in. And then you see the street down there to the end and that's about the end of Hampton, it's about a mile. A mile long for the main thoroughfare here and that's it. All right, talk to you later, bye. All right, YouTube, look who I ran into. It's Ham Fist. And look, Mama Ham Fist, he's shaved and he's eating healthy. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, everybody. So, um, the total for today of uh, Miles Height, uh, the count is 5.8, and then another uh, mile and a half to get back here to the uh, um, hostel. Another mile to go down to Subway and another mile to come back. So, you know, a lot of hiking, but 5.8 to count it. So we'll count it as a Nero today. Uh, uh, body needed it. Um, we do have a cold front coming in tonight. Going to get really chilly in the next couple of days. A lot of rain, maybe even some sleet and snow as we move towards Damascus. So I hope to be there on Sunday is my goal. Uh, today is Wednesday, May the, the 4th, so anyway, um, just just relaxing, just finished getting a shower, took a nap, nice to take a nap, and uh, we'll be heading out tomorrow morning, so we'll see you then, bye.